Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any. What do you need to know? So whenever you see this will be the right time. And as always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like and comment and follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. And if you're interested in personal readings, all of that info is in the description box. So let's get started, Aries. Someone's about to express deeper feelings for you. I'm seeing you have a love call coming in. A message of love. Somebody has been thinking of you and you're going to find out. This person's going to end up letting you know that they've been thinking about you. So could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I'm seeing Queen of Swords energy. Tell me about this love call. Okay. Passion. Ooh, it's about to get spicy. I'm seeing it's going to be a very intense and emotional communication. So you two like each other equally. There's a lot of passion and chemistry and you have fun together. And I'm seeing that for some of you, you may have been moving on or just spending time with your friends, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. Or there's a need for you to do that. But whoever this person is, they've been acting distant. But I'm seeing that they've been thinking about you. So, yeah, there's this, this emotional communication coming in. I'm seeing that with this hand of cards, you may have other options. Or you have other options kind of coming in and you're going to have to take some sort of chance or risk or a leap of faith on one of them i see you you're you being strategic with your options so you may be not showing your hand but i'm picking up that there's someone who you do have feelings for but this is new emotions new feelings and yeah three of cups so yeah you do have options or you do have options coming in and I do see that you may be keeping this to yourself. So not revealing this, that you have other options. But there is a lot of passionate communication that I see, you know, going back and forth. An increase in communication with someone. I'm seeing you viewing this person like they have um, been hurt. This person around you, somebody who's been hurt or felt betrayed in a way. Ooh, with the sun, it's like this person is bringing, bringing this pain that they have felt to light. I see you coming to a place where you're healing, healing your heart and healing from a heartbreak, freeing yourself from a toxic relationship or addiction, focusing on yourself, working on yourself, working on your heart. Um, working away, hustling, doing your own thing. I see you being real focused on your security. And I see you working on releasing yourself from a toxic relationship or addiction, proving to yourself that you can get out of this. So it feels like something's been holding you back and restricting you. I see you trying to close that chapter in your life and focusing on, on letting this go increasing your confidence and um, changing your financial circumstances as well. So this toxic relationship or addiction, um, and addiction comes in different forms. It could be the way you spend your money. It could be like drinking too much, partying, like it could be anything. But I see you really like really focusing and really working on releasing yourself and, and changing your situation, changing your circumstances, recovering from everything and Increasing your confidence, increasing your power in yourself. 
and I see you being really motivated and determined to get this done. There's this person around you who you're, you view as the Five of Swords and the Chariot. So you may view this person like they're trying to move on from conflict. Um, they're guarded, like they have guards up and they don't trust you. Hmm. For some reason, this person like views you like they don't really trust you and, and you know that they don't trust you. So with this empress in their energy. I was hearing Libra, but this is Taurus. So could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Okay, they view this situation like something is, is clear to them. Like, they view this situation like there's, um, again, like other options, but they also see this as a risk themselves. With this Five of Wands, they feel like they're in competition over you. They feel like they're fighting for you. And I'm seeing them in this energy where I do see them being strategic and trying to f like f almost find a way on how to kind of win you over because they view you as a son. So they view you as somebody who um, they feel happy with, they feel happy around a lot of, they see you as someone who has a lot of happiness and good energy in your life. And they're trying to find some sort of way to like be a part of that. With the Three of Swords reverse, it feels like they're trying to get over something that happened. And trying to be more independent. With the Seven of Wands, it feels like they're also trying to put some sort of boundary when it comes to you. I'm hearing truth. So revealing truth. This person wants to reveal something to you. Because they've been looking back. What is this? Queen of Wands. So about another person. They, again, it's like there's options. And so they feel like they're in competition the camera they're reminiscing they're looking at things from a different perception they're looking back now mm, soulmates this person wants to make some sort of agreement with you i see them they want a partnership with you abundance this person is very abundant, so I'm seeing like financially abundant. They may very be, they may be very abundant. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So they're trying to keep a positive mindset. They're looking at this situation um, like they're trying to look at it things from the from a positive way instead of a negative way. Looking at the best case scenario basically. Um, but they're aware with this girl with the snake, it's like they, they want to put some sort of boundary up with you as well. They want, they want to communicate some sort of boundary that they have. Okay. So decisions, decisions. The sunglasses, someone that's been watching you, um, observing you, keeping an eye on you, is about to make a decision to, to either text or call you. You're going to look at things differently. Ooh, there's going to be a new phase. You may end up rekindling things with this person, renewing things, so rekindling a flame 
uh, there's going to be some sort of major change or transformation here. I'm seeing changed mind. It feels like you're changing, you're, you're going to end up changing your mind about something or about a person. With Justice Reverse, it feels like you've made a decision already, but then you're going to like almost second guess it. Changing your mind about a decision that you've made. This text or call may end up changing your mind about a, a decision that you made. This person is going to want to give and receive um, and invest into you and vice versa. You have money coming in. I'm seeing with this, wow, Ten of Cups. Somebody wants to give you love, like long-term love. I see you're going to take your time, though. I see you moving slow before you make a final decision. But I do see you making like a small offer gesture. Messages. Messages coming in back and forth. I'm seeing you pretty much... I'm hearing taking more seriously. You may take this person more seriously. Because whoever this person is, they are showing up as an empress. So they are showing up as somebody who, I mean, like, they are they look like they're a good person. They want the best for, for you or for others. But it's going to be your choice. You may look at them differently. The empress could also be like a mother or baby mother. Something like that. But there may be a new face coming in if that's your choice. So, but Spirit is saying, you know, step into this Queen of Swords energy. Like, use your discernment. Look at things from a re realistic perspective. Like, if this is somebody who you've had a toxic relationship with, then look at it realistically. I mean, don't repeat a cycle if you know this is toxic. But if this is, like, somebody who, I mean... Like, you've seen them as, like, just being a good person and there's been no bad blood, then, you know, use your discernment. Some of you, there's going to be some uh, a rekindling. Love bomb. It's going to be a... It's going to be a love bomb. Somebody is going to want to, again, like, give to you. And you're going to have to make a decision on whether or not you want to give back. If this is just going to be a one-sided relationship or not. I'm seeing the numbers 3, 8, 11. The letters H, C, S, L. So those numbers could be birthdays. The letters could be either in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm picking up. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.